Hi, welcome back everybody. Uh, real quick video today. Um, as you can see, I've got a brand new tire here. Uh, and you probably can't see, but I've got a nail in my old tire. I marked it somewhere. I don't know if it's worth showing again. Um, but there's a nail down in there. Maybe the head broke off or it didn't have a head and it just went through. But anyway, this tire's done. Um, had about 3,500 miles on it. You can kind of see the tread wear. Let's see if it'll show up on the camera, but it's down in there. Um, it's not quite to there, but it's getting close. Uh, and these starting to flatten off a little bit which is just sort of normal. I, I try to ride as twisty roads as I can, but just to get back and forth from them, you end up burning a lot of that uh, center down. And since these are not really sport touring tires technically, uh, they wear a little bit faster, I think, in the middle. But 3,500 miles, that's not terrible. So if I can get this on the camera too, I can show you the difference this tread wear indicator um, essentially down in there so it's pretty far down so these have a lot of meat a lot more meat in the middle than the used ones obviously but anyway okay um, and I guess for reference this is a Metzler Sport Tech M7RR so this is my 2015 Ducati Hyper Strata Hyper motored, um, yeah, 3,500 miles easy. I'd probably replace it anyway at 4,000, just, just cause. And I'm just doing the rear one. Um, got a nail. I'll throw this on, and we'll see how the front one wears over time as well. Uh, but that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to show you how easy it is to get a rear wheel off of a Ducati. <laughs> If you've got a stand, either a rear stand or a center stand, um, that has a single swing arm. So as I mentioned, when I took the sprocket off the other side, this guy, I usually just safety wire this, just because it makes me feel better, knowing that that's not ever going to fall off that way. Um, it's up to you. I don't think you have to, but it makes me, like I said, it makes me feel better. And here, I'll show you. We'll go ahead and pull this off. Um, what else? This nut is a 46 millimeter. It is pretty hefty. As you can see, we've got a nice big socket. It's pretty specialized. Uh, the other side with the sprocket is 41 millimeter. And then to get the wheel off, again, it's a 46. Um, and Mine in particular uh, have a three-quarter inch. I think it's a three-quarter inch um, instead of a half inch. So uh, just be aware that some of these are pretty big. You need some pretty good-sized tools. So if I can do this with the camera down, I'll show you real quick. Hopefully in real time, we'll see how this goes. So we get rid of that safety wire. These guys can just pull off with your fingers and then this end fits down into a hole in the hub, the axle, uh, sort of securing it in there pretty good. Uh, but like I said, I still like the safety wire just to have so this guy, we've got a brake free. Uh, I don't remember the torque figure off the top of my head, but it's pretty high because you don't want this thing coming off. Um, so it might take a minute or two for me to break this loose because I'm just going to use the rear brake and hopefully a, a quick whack on uh, my breaker bar here. But that means I've got to con get contorted a little bit. And voila, a couple 
good wax, hold the brake down, and I don't know, I guess if you had an impact you could do that in a jiffy as well, but why not use hand tools? So, okay, this guy, easy enough. Once it's loose, it spins off, which is why you don't want it loosening up on your own. Uh, got a little spacer here. So we'll probably re-lube all this stuff. Uh, I guess it's got a washer and a spacer. So good to, good to know, make sure you keep everything together. So we'll set that down. Then this guy just pulls right off. Voila. So it doesn't get much simpler than that in the bike world. So I like that. Uh, they, you know, Ducati's got some good engineering stuff and some not so good, but uh, I definitely will give them a thumbs up for that one. So, anyway. Um, when I go to put this back on, I've got to get the new tire mounted and balanced, and uh, I'll video that as well and uh, relay the, the torque specs. Alright, thanks. Okay, so we got uh, our new tire on our rim. Uh, looks good. Hopefully uh, it's balanced well local shop independent shop usually does a good job so not too concerned about it uh, but we'll get this guy back on here now um, what do we got a couple of things back on the axle hub here uh, they recommend a bit of grease um, before refitting everything and as you can see, there are two holes. So when you get this nut tightened down good, um, you should have one of these open splines match one of those holes that your pin ring can fit into. So that's the deal. Um, the spec for this nut also, so again a 46 inch, sort, sorry, 46 millimeter nut, um, they say torque it down to 230 newton meters, I believe is what it was, which uh, I think comes out around to 175 foot pounds, um, so it's a fair amount of force that you got to put into this thing. Um, so anyway, not a big deal. It's quick. Um, I'm going to slap a little grease on this, throw the wheel on, and get it tightened down. Let's see here. And they do also recommend uh, just a little bit of grease on the nut threads, I guess, just to make sure uh, you can get this thing back off when you need to. So we'll put a little bit on here. Uh, didn't didn't specify anti-seize or anything like that. It just said, huh, well, it said the specified grease. So whatever that may be. Also going to put a little bit on this. Uh, what do you even call this? It's not a. It's kind of a spacer. 
uh, fits into the wheel. So it's aluminum on aluminum, but I think it turns together. But we'll go with that. The only sort of real trick is to get these splines matched up with the holes in the back of the wheel. It shouldn't be too difficult. You can put one on top, look at your wheel, make sure you got one kind of facing upwards. And as we get it back here, fits in there, our spacer fits into there. We had a washer next. Can't pick it up with my gloves. And then the nut. You guys don't need to see me torque this thing down, but I will. I've got a half inch torque wrench that goes up to, I think like maybe 200 foot pounds. So, um, and I was just gonna show you, pretending this is actually torqued in one of the holes for this should be right in here. Alright, so we get this lined up with one of the holes in the axle. That way this piece on the clip can fit down into there. Um, just trying to think about the easiest way to get that done. You can just sort of get it roughly lined up, get the clip on there, and then with some pliers Get that lined up so it falls into that hole right there. So there we go, and I'm going to take this back off, torque it, re put this back on, safety wire it, and call it good. So if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, leave them down below as always. Thank you.